придется, скоро придет а, а, Красная Армия. Зи браухен кайны ангсту хабен бальтком дероте арме. Плиз дон твари, ред арми вил бисун хе. Изнт ит, сам буде сей, вэ из документ, ай сей, вэ из документ, я? Изнт ит. So, six million of such a document. It is American tanks, actually, and I show in an American example. When you prepared for a defense, you spread your power, you see so. And to destroy one tank from air, it's not possible, because you have to spot it, it is under camouflage, you see so, and to find it, and to just... Uh, but if you prepare for offense, you are very, very vulnerable. If one diving bomber will be here, it would be a terrible disaster. You agree? Because, look, it is a tank, 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 and what is it? It's definitely ammunition and fuel here. And it's a such easy target. Yes, one bomb, bam, and that's all. So, but in 1944, of course, American army don't worry because it's a total superiority in the uh, air. You see, so nobody worry. But it's what happened with the Red Army. We staying by masses on a border. And Germany attack one bomb, and that's all. Uh, it is a Russian soldiers, you see, so surrender, but he is in a prison uniform. In the May of 1941, uh, Stalin take uh, one million Russian uh, prisoners from Gulag, he give weapon to them and mo uh, put forward. Can you imagine if Comrade Putin now? will take one million people from a prison, give them Kalashnikov, and move to the border of somebody. Yeah? Of course, of course. You say, what is the value of such a soldiers? Yeah? No value at all. No. And Stalin explained value of that kind of soldiers. It is a second strategic echelon prisoners. First strategic echelon, it is a professional army. And he explained, there is a campfire, and if there is a good fire, it is a do doesn't matter what is the logs. It's a good or bad, you see, very wet, doesn't matter. Good fire, it's okay. If we're offensive and we're successful, wet guys, we're angry, we're hungry, you see, so you put them in Europe, you say, where is a bicycle, where is a watches, you see, so come on, guys, you see. It would be okay. But because Hitler attacked first, and he destroyed first strategic echelon, second strategic echelon, surrender, it's a prisoners. It is the slaves. <clears throat> it is a Germany prepared for a Blitzkrieg. <laughs> Did you ever see Hollywood film and German on the horses? Ever, please. Please. Never, never. But we have 3,000 tanks and 750,000 horses. 750, three quarters of million horses, blitzkrieg. Now we're just clever and so on, but everybody just try to forget what kind of, uh, of uh, army it was. Uh, because I'm a spy, I always pay uh, attention for uh, small details, and I pay attention to bum of, sorry, uh, backside of that officer, and it's a shiny. <laughs> Don't smile, because it is a leather, because it's a cavalry officer, yeah? And uh, it is a Russian BA-10. It is a wonderful armored car. You see, it is a 45 millimeter gun. In 39, uh, no one German tank have uh, such a uh, big uh, gun. You see, even in 41, you see, it was a quite good gun, which can destroy any German tanks. And German cavalry, because Russian abandoned all their weapons, you see, so now German cavalry have an opportunity to use modern equipment of 20th century. It is a German with a Russian pepesha. What is a German in Africa? What is a German? But what is a pepesha? Because uh, even what we captured in Russia was enough to supply their army in Germany. 
В этой зате ФТФО, Бест Танк и Неволд, и на Джерман Сервис, Рашен Танк, и Ти ФТФО, и Ти ФТФО Бихайн, и Ти ФТФО, 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 ФТФО. В этой зате Джаст Рашен Джерман Эркрафт, и Ти ФТФО, look that, you see so. It's maybe it's a horse, it's some kind of cavalry. Look what, yeah? <laughs> Now, everybody like to show how powerful German are. This is so. Because German, they lost the war, and now they say, yes, we lost the war, but they are still clever guys. Communist, Russian communist, they like to show, yes, we've been so powerful, and they're so weak. Why? Why we just saying that? It's a like a, in a prison, in a courtroom. You see, half of American film, it's an objection, your honor, yeah? So, uh, there is a guy, you see, so he's a murderer. And he always tried to present himself, oh, I'm so stupid, oh, I cannot create such a clever plan, you see, so. Who try to present himself as an idiot, it's a, generally, it's a criminal who try to hide his criminal uh, deed. So it's what's happened with Soviet Union. We have to explain what's happened in 1941. Uh, what's happened, I explained to you. We've been prepared for attack. Because we prepared for attack, we're not prepared for defense. That's all. We have to hide it. And we explain, oh, German aircraft, we all been super modern and so on. Oh, German tank, we're best in the world. Yes, it is a German tank in Russia, and uh, when German lost uh, Second World War, they explain the reason why. They say it's a vast, vast country, it's an enormous uh, country, yes? They say there is a frost, there is a no roads. Yeah? That is the reason why. They are clever guys, you see, so. Uh, for that, uh, there is a my simple answer. I say stop, 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 boys. Before to attack Russia, you have to send one super spy to Russia, and he have to send you top secret information. Russia is a big country, actually, yes? And according to that information, you have to prepare yourself for a fight, yes? They have to say, there is some frost sometimes in Russia, yes? Russian road, you see, so it's not American motorway, please, be ready. You see, so I can speak non-stop, but our time nearly finished. And what I like to say to you, you're so lucky people. Because for you, your country, your people, your government, your constitution, your president, you see, so it's the same thing. You're loyal to your people, to your country, to your president, to your government. You see, so it is a... I am unlucky guy, because for me it is a country, it is a one, my people, it is a one thing. And criminal regime, it's a little bit different. And to be, you cannot be loyal to, to your people and regime who destroy that people. That regime killed tens of millions of people. We are not idiots, you see, so just, we can launch the first dog in a space. It's a Russian dog, yeah? Like, yes, first woman in the space, it's a Russian girl, yes, so first man in the space, it's Gagarin. We can play chess, you see, so we, we are not idiots, yeah? So we produce more oil than anybody else, more than Saudi Arabia now. Lots of gas, diamonds, uranium, everything, and still, there is something wrong with that country. I'm here not because I hate my country, I'm here because I love my country. And I understand, we cannot be loyal to that criminals, you see, we cannot be, we have to fight against that. Of course, we, maybe we will lose that fight, but still, uh, Ronald Reagan say, it is an evil empire, and it's a still very dangerous empire, because before it was a big power, all nuclear weapon under United control. Now we don't know who control it. Tomorrow, when Russia will split, but uh, she will split, yes. We don't know who will control all of that. So, liberty 
it is a golden key for any success. And you have a liberty. And your future job, present job, to protect liberty of United States of America. And I wish you good luck. I wish you success. And uh, God bless America, of course. Thank you very much.